it's time for me to figure out what books I'm taking to my parents' house versus what's getting packed up and going to Perth. G'day everyone, welcome or welcome back to A Fictional Escapist, my name is Chris and today's video is apparently a vlog style choosing of the books that I will be taking to Perth versus what I'll be taking to my parents' house. So as an update on the house, we have been delayed by 8 to 10 weeks which will take us to about the end of July, uh, pending no more sort of delays. And I don't know that I can be without physical books for that amount of time. We're moving at the beginning of January into my parents' house. I will have some shelf space, not a whole lot, and whatever books I take there will have to be put in the car for us to drive to Perth with, so also have to be fairly wary of space. I was under the impression that I could get away with just taking my Kindle and a couple of omnibuses that I have for uh, buddy reads, but I have so many reads planned for 2023. 2023 is the, the year of the buddy read for me, um, whether I'm doing it on the Discord channel, whether I'm doing it with other friends, there's a couple of read-alongs of really popular series that I've not read and I, I would like to. So those are happening <laughs> and there's a lot of books involved. So I'm going to go through my entire house and pick out what books I can realistically take to my parents' house versus what's going to go to Perth. So this video is all about the books that I'm taking to my parents' house. A lot of this stuff needs to get packed up in the next couple of weeks, so it'll span over a couple of weeks, I guess. Uh, when I decide what I what I can take and what I can get away with um, for the next seven to eight months. All right, catch in the next clip. Hello, we're back on the same day that I filmed the intro. I just wanted to show you, I need to try and only take this amount of books, just making sure that I don't have a, an address on there. This box isn't huge. It's not huge. And I it's a challenge, going to be a challenge to only take this amount of books with me. I know that there's going to be more than that box. I am not under the impression that I have self-control enough to only fill this box, particularly with the omnibuses that are definitely coming, and I'll show those in a minute. But it means that I will have to send some stuff. Now, I have done a little bit of a look through my shelves and some priority reads that I want to read in 2023, considering we're here for at least seven months and maybe here for longer, and started buying some stuff on digital so I can still have those books and we'll go through them when we get to them. I also have books friggin' everywhere. This room is filled with books right now because I've been filming videos to try and get content pre-prepared and ready to go for January and December because I started a new job. I'm probably going to Sydney for a week and I still want content to continue on the channel during that time. So, I'll show you the two omnibuses that are definitely coming with me. Alright, so like I said, I've got a couple of buddy reads happening over on my Discord channel in 2023. The first one is the Dragonlance Chronicles, the original trilogy. So this is the Dragons of Autumn Twilight, the Dragons of Winter Night, and Dragons of Spring Dawning. So that is a bit of a beat up copy, but I picked it up for like four bucks for three books. Not bad. And I'm also doing the Cicero Trilogy by Robert Harris. I actually think my dad would like historical fiction if he loosened the stick up his ass a little bit and read fiction for fun and not just when the school holidays were on because he's a teacher. So I'm going to convince him to read this as well. And I'll be reading this one with Theo over at Rekindled Reader and this one with anyone who wants to join. That's, you know, for both these, anyone who wants to join, it is a Discord better read, but um, the thought process was doing this one with Roger from Roger's Read. So those two are definites and that's already a chunk in the box. Hello again. The other buddy read I have starting in January is The Cycle of Fire by Janny Wirt. So these, these three books will also have to come as a few people who want to get into Janny Wirt's. I read my first one this year, absolutely brilliant and looking forward to starting this series. So these have to come as well. There are so many books in here right now. You think I've only got three shelves? I have six. These are just the three that you can see. So these shelves, the big ones, are actually getting sold because I have an antique shelf. It just didn't really fit for the channel vibe, but I don't have a lot of room in the new house and something's got to go. So these two big ones are going. They're going to be sold or just given to some kids who want some bookshelves. And I will keep this skinny one um, because it holds a lot more. There's no bowing in it. <laughs> yeah. Wish me luck, everyone. 
All right, we're technically at shelf number one. You've seen this before when I did like a, a shop my shelves, that, that door is open, so you're gonna hear the road. There's not a whole lot that I want to take on this shelf uh, in terms of to mum and dad's. This will all be going through to Perth, except I will be storing some of these books uh, at mum and dad's because I don't necessarily, I'm not gonna read them in Perth. We're not going there forever, right? We're just going there for like five years and then coming back. So let's take a look at the shelf and see if there is anything I may want to take to mum and dad's and, and like leave there. All right, so all of these VC Andrews books, these are going to come to mum and dad's and they're going to stay there. They're going to go into storage. They've got like a little book storage downstairs. Now, I do want to reread Cain and Abel. So this one will be coming to mum and dad's um, as well as the sequel, which is the, the Prodigal Daughter. And I haven't decided about many of these other ones. I think Jeffrey Archer may be like a one series wonder for me. I'm not 100% sure, but I might take them and store them or donate them if they're not for me. Okay, so this is coming. This one I'm going to take into my office. That's coming to mum and dad's. That was my grandfather's. And that was the first three books in that series. There's a couple here that I want to read and then donate. So we'll take those. We'll pack them up. So there's Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. And these two are just going in the unhaul pile. So, my wife has put her earrings in an odd location. Shame. All right, jumping down. Well, hi, mom and dad. We've got a dead moth, so on your moth. And there's a lot of Stephen King here. I am going to take most of this with me um, because the Stephen Kings that I'm going to read next year. Uh, I'm going to just download digitally, so we'll see. The rest of that shelf is just Stephen King, so I'm just going to pack them and they can go to Perth. Any Stephen Kings that I read next year will likely be digital. Shelf two. We've already seen these before. Um, again, I'm just going to have a look at them. You'll see the books a little bit more closely. And what I'm going to take, most of this stuff is just going to get stored. I think um, I haven't read a Dean Koontz in a while. The last one I read was from the corner of... His eye, this one. I like Dean Koontz, but he's not an author that I like rush to anymore. In fact, I'm gonna unhaul a couple of these books. So let's take a look. All right, The Dark Tower is gonna come with me to Perth because I do wanna reread that at some point. Um, I think a lot of these are going to get stored at mum and dad. So um, The Green Mile, I just wanna buy a full copy of it rather than the Nevlets. Um, I won't read Revival again, even though I really liked it. So that will get stored. And The Stand, I'll probably take with me because I do want to reread that in its entirety. So these, the Odd Thomas series, the first trilogy, and the Frankenstein books are getting unhauled. And I think most of this will go into storage. You need to get a storage container for them. Whole bunch of random crap, sorry people. I will likely take these. I like the way that they look um, and I haven't read those yet. So I'm going to also be unhauling this series brilliant series but i read it um, i listened to it and i really liked the narration so if i go back to it i'll probably just listen to it again and what a twat that can get unhauled by elon uh, and i think this one's going to go into the unhaul pile because i don't read a lot of contemporary um, and i'm not sure when i'm ever going to get to that it brings us to shelf number three the antique shelf that i was gifted by one of my grandfather's friends. When he passed away, he donated this to me because he knew that I liked books. And this is a beautiful shelf with a spiderweb on it because I haven't cleaned it. Enjoy the, the cereal. So a lot of this shelf, I'm actually reading relatively soon. A lot of these books are gonna come with us, but I'm gonna read them digitally because there's two read-alongs on these shelves happening next year. And I cannot take this amount of books with me. So let's have a look. These books, ignoring that spider web, belong on these shelves. These are leather bound editions that my grandfather gave me. We've got Charles Dickens, Oscar Wilde, a lot of classics up there. So moving down to this shelf with the squirrel that is in need of a heavy dust, I am gonna be taking Gardens of the Moon. I'm not committing to a Malazan read along, but I will be taking at least book one to see if I can read that and figure out what I think of it next year. 
a lot of this stuff is going to go into storage. There's some kids' books there that are going to go to mum and dad's place. Robin Hobb, these are my wife's. I have not been able to get into Robin Hobb. I am not saying never. I will probably try and read Farsia again, but I might go audio. This one is on my list of priority reads next year, American Gods by Neil Gaiman, so that's going to come. Going to pack that one to come to mum and dad's. Uh, and yes, the Robin Hobb stuff can't commit to for now. I am doing Wheel of Time and A Song of Ice and Fire. These are the two big read-alongs I'm doing next year. Um, so Kay from the Book Apothecary, I'll put her channel down below, is uh, running a Wheel of Time readathon from January right until March 2023 at one book a month. I'm going to be doing that. She's joined by a whole bunch of other hosts. And then uh, Joanna from Joanna Reads is doing a Song of Ice and Fire readathon or re-readathon with a bunch of other people as well. So I'm going to be jumping onto those. So they're just going to be packed away. They're going to come to Perth and I'm going to read them digitally. So we've got some more there. Lord of the Rings, that'll get packed up and go. I read it recently. Harry Potter, well, I unpopular opinion, don't think it's that great. And I really have no interest in reading Stormlight Archive anytime soon. So they can all get packed up. Down here are some of my grandfather's historical books that I somehow inherited because I like the poetry of Banjo Patterson, so I just got given them. Um, they will be going to my mum and dad's, I'll be going into storage there. And then the Sarah Waters, I will probably... I liked a lot of them, I just read them at a different time of my life, so I will unhaul the ones that I've read and keep... I'll keep The Night Watch because it's one of my favourites and uh, The Playing Guess I haven't read yet, so we'll get to that when I do. All this stuff is like cooking books and, you know, we probably don't don't need them when I'm staying with mum and dad. These books here have been sitting here because I have nowhere for them to go on the big shelves. Um, these will be getting packed up to go to Perth, I think. I think my dad would like Joe Abercrombie, even though he's too adult to enjoy fantasy, according to him. Um, I actually think he would enjoy Joe Abercrombie. He liked A Song of Ice and Fire very much, so let's convince him to give Abercrombie a go, huh? Down here we have a whole bunch of books that I recently looked at for a video that's coming out on the channel, or has already come out on the channel. One of the two. I actually want to do another video with these, so they're going to stay put for the time being. And finally we come to the biggest set of shelves and the most intimidating for me to choose books out of. I have a fairly rough idea of what I want to bring because I've gone through and I've purchased some of these digitally so I can take them next year with me and have them with me regardless of how much time we're at my parents' house. But there are a lot of books that I want to take from here that, you know, I just love these. So I want them with me like a big book hug without any touching because that is my preferred method of affection. Okay, basically all of this stuff is getting sent to Perth, except We Run Tomorrow. That's going to a friend of mine, because it's a kid's book. Uh, he wants to read it to his kids, so I'm gonna take that out. Oh, actually, this shelf. So we've already said that um, The Cycle of Fire is coming with me. I also want to take That Way Lies Camelot. So those will come in the pile, in the definitely coming with me pile. I also have a J.B. Jones readathon discord buddy read that's happening in january and the last book master and fool will be read in january i think i'm just going to buy this digitally and finish it on digital that's fine um magician if i want to read it it is a priority read at some point in my life so is that a priority no probably not um i've got that on ebook as well so all this stuff here is going to get packed up to go to perth except for these we'll go put them in the pile here is my indie shelf. I'm going to be really sad to not have my indie shelf with me um, next year because I just, I love it so much. I am reading this one though in January or February. So that one's coming. We'll put that in the pile over there. A lot of these here. So I am going to be reading these three actually. So these three are priorities for me in 2023. I've bought them all digitally so that way I can have them um, and I don't need to buy them. I also want to continue the series, but I've got the next couple of books on digital. Down here, um, I am going to read The Priory of the Orange Tree late next year. That is a priority read. And this series here I've got on digital. 
but I wanted the physical copies because they were really pretty, so I've bought them. Also, these two here from these HC New Old Books. I've got these on digital that'll be read next year, and this series here. Here's my <laughs> my trad pub shelf of all the new releases I got excited to buy, and then I just didn't read, so they can all get packed up. A lot of these I can get on Libby, so if I want to listen to them, I can. I forgot to mention, I do actually want to take a couple of these because they're really short and easy palette cleansers. So I'm up to Sojourn. Maybe I'll take those four in the Forgotten Realms. My box is already full, so let's see how many I can get away with. All right, jumping up here. Those are going in storage. They're just going to come to Perth with me. All of these are going to come to storage. I do have a buddy read planned for this series. It's a duology, um, but not for a while. All of these ones are my horror, thriller, atmospheric sort of books, and I don't think I'm going to get to them until spooky season, so my dad has a copy of Billy Summers if I, I want to go down that route. Um, yeah, I think all that's going to get put away. All this stuff is going to get put away. Down to historical fiction. Oh, this needs to come. I'm doing a buddy read of that one with Theo again next year, so that needs to come with me. I might be starting this series. I don't know, and this one is coming. We said that already. Here are the books I was meant to read this year, and I just never got around to it. So... I was going to try and join in a readathon for this. I do not think I can fit it in. I will get to it at some point in my life. And these also. I do want to read The Black Coast and The Grace of Kings relatively soon. But not soon enough for them to be coming. I also have The Grace of Kings on an e-copy if I really want to. So there's that. Over here we have all the Nintendo Switch stuff that didn't fit anywhere. None of these are on my priority list, so they can all stay here. I was meant to read the fifth season and <laughs> Book of the Ancestor this year as well, and that just didn't happen. All these can get, all these can get packed up. Uh, I have a buddy read happening with this probably in the end of 2023, so that can get packed. All of these can get packed up. That's fine. Um, I do want to read this next year and finish up that duology. I really like Jurassic Park. Red Rising, I do want to read next year. I want to finish at least this original trilogy, but I'm going to do that on audio because I really like the audio for the first book, so that's fine. Dune, I've read. I'm not going to read it again anytime soon, so all of those can get packed. Up here, we have more series I said that I was going to read this year and I never got to. So, oh, actually, there are a couple that I want to bring from here. Ooh. Sorry, everyone. So, I really loved The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, so these three are coming. That is a priority series continuation for 2023, so they are coming with me. If I can fit them in, I'm also going to bring these. I liked Ancillary Justice. I want to finish the trilogy. Eh, maybe. Maybe they can stay there. I've got a bit of sci-fi on my continuation. So, we're up to the last shelf. Um, I want to read this one with Esme who comments on every booktube channel that I watch. So we're going to be reading that series at some point, so that one can come. I'm seeing a lot of priority series for 2024 in here. These two, I'm pretty sure are YA, and I want to read them, but I don't think I'll keep them after I've read them so they can come. Uh, and I also want to read Tagana. Tagana's a priority read, so that can come. Um, I'm going to donate this and buy a matching set of all the Witcher books whenever I get around to it, so that one can get donated. All right, I think we're done. So these books behind me, these are the ones that are getting packed up. They're not going to fit in the box. There's no way in hell. But at least with these ones, I'm going to read them and donate them or read them and keep them with mum and dad in storage. I'm going to see how many of these fit in the box, but I think we've done okay. And I did it in a day rather than the weeks that I thought this was going to take initially when I started this video this morning. Those are the books that I'll be taking. Let me know <laughs> if there's any on my shelves that I really should reconsider taking and reading next year. If you like the content, give it one of these. If you want to see more of it, click subscribe at your will. I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao.